Now, this personality idea that we have discussed many times, and which we will discuss in greater detail this time, is only your outer focusing device. Hmm. Your personality is really nothing more than a window or a prism through which your consciousness creates the experience called physical reality. Hmm. Now that experience is of course actually only taking place within you. <clears throat> Again, there is no outside. Nothing, nothing, nothing out there, nothing. Just a reflection. Just as there is nothing itself of the image in the mirror, you understand there is really nothing of reality outside you. It is all taking place within your consciousness. I had the same discussion with my brother, one of my brothers. We were debating and he was talking about how we live in um, a holograph, holographic reality. And he's saying he, I mean, he's so committed to this belief that we live in a holographic uh, reality. And I told him, I said, well, if it's the holographic reality that you think we live in, actually, we're not living in it. It's living in us because nothing exists outside of us. Everything exists on the inside of us. So therefore, this is something that we are creating. And he had a little debate about that, you know, but he believes what he believes. And I try to explain this is exactly what I was trying to tell him and or explain to him. But somehow he was just set in his ways and he just <laughs> not really accepting it. He just believes that we live in this holographic reality and this whole thing around us is, is holographic. No, we're not living in it. I told him, I said, it's in us and we're experiencing it existing inside of us. But what the personality allows itself to perceive is often built upon not only the beliefs and definitions you have been taught in life to hold most true, to buy into most strongly, but also based upon what is technically called the soul blueprint. What you brought into this life, hmm. in a sense, as a theme to explore. <clears throat> so you will always look at everything that happens through the personality. You will always look at everything through that general theme. You will experience it through that general theme. When you choose to be physical and go from a non-physical state into a physical state, in a sense what you do is a kind of crystallization. It's like going from being steam to being water to being ice. So basically what he's saying is we condense ourselves from the spiritual uh, realm to the physical. And it's interesting. I never heard... I never heard of any 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 channeler or entity that's that's being channeled. Uh, put it that way. You know, you had Seth back in the days with Seth speak with Jane Robertson. You have Esther Esther Hicks. She had a channeler uh, channeling through her. Uh, she was a channeler, and um, you know, and now, and now you have uh, this this guy here, Bajir Bajir. <laughs> But anyway, it's interesting, but this is really the first time that I've ever heard any, any, uh, anyone or any entities, you know, express things in this way as far as um, this is concerned. You freeze yourselves in a type of pattern. This pattern then is referred to as the soul blueprint. What you brought in with you in general that you will explore in this life. Now, many of you have similar themes, as we said, in this life, because you're all exploring the ability to be aware and awake of the fact that you are free to choose your reality experience. Hmm. Whereas 
in your history in the past, as you say, you were not aware that you had this choice, that you had this freedom. <clears throat> and even many of you alive on your planet today are unaware that you have this choice, that you have this freedom to choose your life to be what you wish it to be. <clears throat> many people on your planet still believe that life happens to you instead of happening through you. He <laughs> said, many people on your planet. That's interesting. Hmm. But what he's what you know he's just saying here is very deep. It, you know, it's amazing how these entities, when they're channeling through people, it, it's like that that person takes on that that entity's personality. I guess when they were in the, this particular life on this particular third dimension at one point in time, and uh, I'm guessing they, you know, refused to or or chose not to uh, come back to this experience. But it does not happen to you. It comes from you hmm. and reflects back to you. And we will get into more understanding of that later on in this transmission when we discuss in depth what we have called the reality generation circuit. Reality generation The circuit. actual mechanism, the circuitry by yeah. which you are manifesting your physical reality experience. Hmm. But first, the blueprint. What is it exactly? What is it made of exactly? What goes into the recipe of your soul blueprint? You have been given some diagrams, some charts that help to illustrate and illuminate this concept. If you will look at the one that shows you the idea of your history. All the different pathways, all the different consciousnesses, all the different lifetimes, all the different experiences of what you call your past that you have brought to your present and will take with you into your future you can see that you are, as a soul blueprint, shall we say, made up of quite a lot of different kinds of frequencies of energy. <clears throat> quite a lot of different frequencies of experience. Many of you have begun to become aware in this life of your connections to other times, other places, other experiences, other lives and so forth. You know, this is interesting. I wonder if that has something to do with the DNA and basically how things carry on. It, it, it remembers all the things that are recorded through our lives. I'm, I'm wondering if this is kind of like synonymous with that, you know, even though I know DNA is something physical, but it's still records and it holds information so i'm i'm wondering if this is synonymous with you know what they're saying about how dna uh holds uh information and like say for instance ancestors what they experience you have traits of that in your dna and you are actually experiencing what they experienced in the past maybe trauma or whatever and it pops up in us every now and then and we don't have any explanation or, or no understanding of what is going on and why we're acting this way or why we're behaving this way and so forth and so forth. So this is really interesting. And often wonder, how does this relate to this life? Now, a little bit of an aside before we continue with this. When we have discussions with many of you, often, many people will refer to the idea of these other connections by asking a question of Bashar, where do I really come from? Well, of course, the direct answer is to the person actually asking the question is, well, you really come from Earth, obviously, because that's where you are right now asking the question from. But we understand that when they ask the question, where do I really come from? Where do I originate from? <clears throat> 
We understand what you mean, but we wish to point out that you originate from everywhere, all at once and nowhere. Here and now is where you come.